ever wondered if you have what it takes to be an American Ninja Warrior? I have, and I don't know the answer is no, but well-known <laughs> warrior Joe Morofsky recently joined us here on Action News Now. And this morning, Action News reporter Elizabeth Zeladone gives us a first-hand look at how this popular activity is helping campfire survivors. So I'm here live at Ninjas in Reading with one of the ninjas themselves. you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm the Olympic ninja Jonathan Horton. All right, and this is all to help victims of the camp and car fire. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's been a really impactful event. We've been here for several days now with a lot of the ninjas from the actual TV show, American Ninja Warrior. And we're here just to raise money for California fire victims. You know, the campfire and the car fire have just been devastating. And, uh, you know, any little bit that we can do to support the people that have been so badly affected by this fire, you know, that's, that's why we're here, just to kind of raise the spirits of the kids and the families that have been so badly affected. And you've been here for a few days, so tell us a little bit about how the kids have been. Yeah, so the kids come in, they do 90-minute sessions, and we give them kind of a, just a little taste of what Ninja Warrior is like. It's such a popular show right now. Everybody loves it and always wonders, I wonder if I can do some of those obstacles. So we let the kids come in. We've got balance obstacles, um, you know, all of the iconic ones like the warped wall, the salmon ladder, and some of them are extremely challenging and some of them are just a blast to play on. And so um, everybody gets a shot at trying some of these things that they see on TV every day. And which are the obstacles that the kids are the best at? So far? Well, I think the kids love this the best. What we're looking at right here, this is our, our kind of parkour balance course and we timed them. I think the fastest kid did this entire course in 14 seconds, and I think he was like 10 years old. Just unbelievable. They come back here and just run it over and over and over again. So as I've seen, kids seem to do better at these kind of things because they don't think about it. Adults, we think a little more. Do you see that? Oh, absolutely. We, we're staring at it like, uh, how can I not get hurt on this? And the kids are just like, you know, going through it over and over and over again, having, you know, so much fun. They don't think, you know, twice about anything at all. Okay, so describe this one for us right now. Yeah, so this is our, um, you know, I like to call it the balance course or agility course. You've got the quad steps, um, a couple things to jump over, and most of the kids can get through this in five to ten seconds. All right, so five to ten seconds, and I'm now going to do it with Daniel, who's going to join me, and I'm going to hand off my mic, and I'm going to trust you. I'm going to hand off my <laughs> mic to you. We have 30 seconds to do this. Yeah, so yeah. Let's go through and you'll narrate. All right, here we go. The first thing is the quad step. So, uh, Daniel, you going first? Yeah, I'll give you going to give us a demonstration? demonstration. All right, now, Daniel can do this pretty quick. Here we go. Don't, don't mess this up. Quad steps over a couple of the tall balance obstacles and done. All right, it's your turn, Elizabeth. Here we go. Quad steps, staying nice and low like she should, no problem. Running over a couple more obstacles on the other side and nice job. You forgot to hit the buzzer. <laughs> oh, so we're here to raise money for the California fire victims, and uh, the kids can come and play on our, our ninja course. Okay, and that's for the next few days, and we'll tell you coming up in our next half hour really what these next few days can really help the kids. So here in the Ninja Warriors, or Ninjas in Reading, I'm Elizabeth Sanidon. I'm Jonathan Horton. For Action News Now, see you later. Uh, we might lose Elizabeth to Ninja Warriors. I see it coming.